Well, I started the baseballs about 15 years ago, and I started just like with a white ball from the toy store. And um, I wanted to, you know, just like, I was looking for like a project of something small. I'm, I'm definitely like a miniaturist at heart. I was looking for something small to paint that would just be unusual. And I had this idea of putting a flag on a baseball. And I started the flag and then I got really into the sort of like yin and yang of the two pieces of the, the leather sewn together. And I did a whole bunch of painted baseballs, like all sorts of funky designs rolling around on my dining room table. And I didn't really know what I was gonna do with them. And I got such a positive response, I, I decided to go do a craft show, um, the, actually the Manyunk craft show. And uh, from there, I, um, I began mass producing them. Really, mass meaning that my, my paintings went into a print in the same way, you know, a, any painting on the wall would go into a print form. So I would take the same paintings that I did on the balls, I do them out flat, and then I would have them reproduced. And that way, way my like, you know, five, six hundred dollar painted ball became a, a fifteen dollar ball that you could buy. And um, I'm a really small company. I mean, I have some freelance people who help me. Otherwise, it's basically me. So I, I hired a company to be my wholesale distributor and they sell my product throughout like the retail industry, um, stores and catalogs and stuff like that. And through that, through some work with QVC, I've sold, you know, just an ungodly amount of baseballs. Like, I actually, I say 700,000, I, I truly think it's more, but I sort of, my system is so archaic, I'd actually have to sit down and count all the orders. So I'm sticking with 700,000 until I feel like recounting them all. Um, but I, I really do believe it's probably higher than that now.